Hello, in this video we're going to graph uh, functions now using a combination of the transformations that we just learned. So in this example we're going to graph y equals x minus 2 squared minus 3. Okay, step one, we want to identify the basic function and graph it. Now looking at this, uh, we have a minus 3, we have a minus 2, but we notice the squared here. We got something squared. So my basic function is y equals x squared. So let's go ahead and graph that. Okay, now that we graphed it, let's go ahead and look at step two, which is to identify all the transformations you're going to have in the order in which you're going to do them. So the way that I normally remember it is you start where x is and you work your way out doing any transformation that you hit at the time. So start at x. What's the first transformation you hit? A minus two which is a horizontal shift, two to the right. If you do that, what you're doing is you're graphing y equals x minus two squared, which is fine. That's part of what we have. So let's go ahead and graph that. Okay, notice what I did was I took my x squared. I made it dotted now, so I know that this isn't my final answer. And I shifted it two to the right, which now gives me this. All right, so go back up here. We've dealt with this piece. Uh, now we have this minus 3 on the outside. That was a vertical shift down 3 units. Now that I'm doing a vertical shift down 3 units, my graph is still the original x minus 2 squared. And then you're going to go down 3 units, and we're going to get our new graph. So I dotted the uh, previous graph. And then again, all I did was I took everything and I moved it down three units. So I moved that down three units to here, which is now where that point is. And there's my graph after the transformation. What you can do now is go back and then just begin erasing the uh, graphs now that you don't need. And we have our final answer. 